So first I made a video where I was not making a video and I was actually talking to myself and not even the camera. Want to know why? Because Christina didn't turn on the camera. No. Then I made this video again. And it cut off on me. And then whenever I looked back to see if I could use what was on there, it was deleted. So I'm extremely exhausted about talking about Twilight because I said the same thing two times already. But like they say, third time's a charm. Oh jeez. So the topic for this week is new director for New Moon. If you don't know already, which you should, our new director for New Moon is Chris White. And the question is, have I seen any of his past movies? If so, which one and did I like it? I haven't seen any of his movies at all that he's directed. None. I did, however, see a commentary that he did for The Golden Compass a couple weeks ago. And after watching the commentary, I feel a lot better about him directing the movie. The other question is, what do you think Chris Weiss will bring to the movie that Captain Hardwick did it? There's two things. And I went into great detail about them in the other videos that I made that you won't see because they deleted off my camera. The first one is professionalism. To wrap it up, I felt that I didn't think that Captain Hardwick was professional. I just think that Chris Weiss compared to Captain Hardwick is like two different levels of professionalism and so it'll seem like he's bringing a lot more professionalism to New Moon and to the cast. The second thing, it kind of ties in with the professionalism. Actually it really is with professionalism but a sense of seriousness about the movie. Once again, I don't think that Captain Hardwick didn't take it seriously. I just think that compared to Chris White. He's going to make Captain Hardwick look like she was not taking the movie seriously at all. He's just a totally different person. I I think that coming from Captain Hardwick to anybody is going to be totally different. What aspects of Catherine, directing and personality-wise, will I miss? I'm going to miss, personality-wise, I'm going to miss how passionate she was about the book, how passionate she was about the fans, and how passionate she was about the actors and Stephanie Meyer and the story and everything tied in with it. However, I do feel that sometimes it's really bad when you have someone that's such a big fan making a movie. Personally, I feel like you can have two extremes if you have a fan making a movie. Either it's going to have everything in it, including every thought, too detailed, like think of Pride and Prejudice, the six hour version, like that. Or on the other end of the spectrum, you're going to have someone who just assumes everybody else has read the book, like Catherine Hardwick did, and just kind of leaves some stuff out, not really communicate well enough to the actors because I really do think though if she communicated to the actors a lot more about what kind of emotions they should be portraying at what moment then we would have been sitting in the theater a lot laughing on moments that were supposed to be serious. Directing wise I'm really going to miss the whole indie aspect of Catherine Hardwick. I love whenever she would use like panning and I like I liked whenever she'd use like actual wilderness to shoot stuff that's in the wilderness and um, we're not going to see that as much in New Moon I don't think. Personally, it's, I mean, obviously it's going to happen because New Moon has more reason to use CGI, but I think that if Captain Hardwick was doing uh, New Moon, then she probably would try to work around CGI as much as she could, regardless of how much money she had to do it. So um, I'm really going to miss the whole indie style of filming that she had and the the music, because I'm not sure if, if Chris is going to stick with that whole like jungle, um, contemporary like it was like a, a contemporary mix with like jungle style it was it was such a cool soundtrack I love the soundtrack to the movie um or well the score to the movie rather I'm gonna really miss those two things so we got challenged by Katie to do a reenactment of the cliff diving scene in New Moon with household items I really didn't know what to do but luckily I was back home to do this because if I was in my dorm trying to do this I can tell you this for a fact, we have no household items, none. It would have been kind of hard. Coming home it was still hard to do. And whenever I got this challenge I was like, wow Katie, really, really? You couldn't just like cut that and make it seem like it was someone else that got drawn? Ooh, it's on. It was really hard, I'm not going to lie, that was a true challenge because I don't know what to do. So I decided since I didn't know what to do that I'd do this and action.
makeup. How far did you help me? I'm a duck. Yeah. What? Come on, Billy. You knew it the whole time. I'm a duck. But... Are you seriously telling me that you didn't know it was a duck? Well, obviously no. But... Bella, are you serious? Oh well, yeah. Bella, my skin turns bright yellow. I can't go out out of the bathtub. It's the rubber of a killer, Bella. But I will save you. I will save you. Okay. Let's make out. Okay, so the challenge for this week, I'm going to make it really, really hard just because I had to suffer with this challenge. So whoever gets my challenge, I feel bad for you. I need to think of a challenge. So just because I'm really, really bitter about the challenge that I got, I'm going to give someone else the exact same challenge, reenact the cliff diving scene in New Moon, except for not with household items. Do it with items that are found in your purse. Now, if you don't carry a purse, that's fine. But think of things that are carried in a purse on a regular basis, like gum, lipstick, mascara, a hairbrush, a mirror, stuff like that, and reenact the new moon cliff diving scene. Yeah. Because it's hard to do. It's hard to do, isn't it? And then you tell me if you had a fun time. Since I don't have a way of really choosing today, I'm going to use my handy dandy Camp Honey Creek for Girls calendar. <laughs> So, Jay, you get to reenact the cliff diving scene in New Moon like I did, except for use items that you would find in someone's purse. Have fun with that. I'll see everybody next Sunday. Hopefully, we'll be on time. Peace out, guys.